No, the guy's a stiff. I mean, how would anybody... I know, he doesn't know anything about restaurants. No, I don't think he knows anything about anything. But, oh, hey, I, get, I gotta go, I gotta go. Hi, I'm restaurant critic Brad Meyer with the Conroe Courier. And this is Mark Hader. He's a columnist and a humorist with uh, uh, the, the cur uh, Oh, See, hey, Mark. Look how uh, easily replaced I am. Uh, this is I the... tell you, you know, it's hard to tell the difference. I guess I guess Mark has more hair, it's but, girl, no, it's, but no, no, it's not a girl. Oh, really? <laughs> Mark has more hair, but not by much. Wow. Hey, this week, where do we go? you got to clean up your restroom, by the way, Brad. It's yeah. a shambles back it there. It is. It's a real challenge. And who are you again? Oh, uh, I'm Mark Hader, lineman for the county. Yeah. And I, I ride the main road, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely. This week, we went to the far-flung restaurant on 28 FM 2854, Pet boys Way out there. Pet, no, uh, hey, boys. hey guys, hey boys, hey boys. No barbecue. This, place, well. this is not a. This is not on the radar, folks. This is not on the map. It's if it, 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 it's so far from the beaten path, it's hard to see. Right. What I would do is go down 105. Just keep it going until you hit 2854. There's a light there. You're headed west. Take the 2854, and this barbecue place is going to be on the right down there. Just yeah. It, it looks like some sort of a, a of a ranch or something, but it's uh, it's right on a curve. They got a big sign up there that says barbecue Wednesday through Saturday. I think. Right. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> something like that. It's it's an odd place. It's not your 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 normal franchise type restaurant. It looks like a big outdoor skating rink. It, well, kind of, it's a it's a it's a, a big outdoor building. It's 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 actually kind of cool. They've got a an authentic looking chuck wagon out there. They've got uh, a barbecue uh, place. They've got a big tin roof right. building. And they have no got sides. three fans that have the output of a, a 747. If it was prop, just these are those industrial fans you'd see in a, in a car place where they they couldn't enclose it because of the fumes. Lots of torque lots, coming out of these. Of uh, yeah. if, you, if you turn them off, you're going to sweat up a storm out there. The and, fans do provide a lot of... And, and they uh, keep the flies off you, or oh at least man, off you. If yeah. any fly can get through these fans, it's going to be in a Japanese movie somewhere. But, but it's it's, it's, it, it's a type of thing where I think somebody said, hey, your barbecue is really good. You ought to open up a restaurant. And some good old boy said, well, you know what? By golly, I think well, I will. Hot oh, damn. And, and it did. And then uh, they said, how are we going to keep the flies off? And then they got some fans. Yeah, some Absolutely. Fans. So they've got a little travel trailer. That serves as their, their kitchen facility. And you walk up to the window, just like, you know, I remember when I was a kid, you know, with, you know, clutching some greasy quarters mm -hmm. in my hand. And, and you order the barbecue. And it's not particularly cheap, uh, but it's it's an interesting experience. It's very interesting. Uh you know, I, I went up there and they had the menu right there, and it's let's face it, it's, it's never a good it's never a good sign when the, the the description you've got for a restaurant is interesting. It's interesting. Okay. And I ordered the rib plate with the uh, potato salad. They don't have free beans, so that was one of the uh, sides I got also, yeah. and a couple pieces of white bread, and uh, not many napkins. And it wouldn't have done any good because the fans were blowing everything. And if you got some grease on your hand, just hold it up in the air, you know, and the fan will blow everything off of it. I, I got the, the the combo meal. It was ribs and, and brisket. And brisket. I was very curious about the brisket. I wanted to get some, but didn't think you wanted me to get two meats, and then you ordered the two meats. Oh, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but but uh, I found the, the food to be pretty good. Uh, the barbecue sauce is, is mild. It's it's not bad at all. The only complaint I really had about it is is the leanness of everything. I think you could have carved a little more of the fat off the brisket oh, and a little yeah. more and baked those ribs just a little bit more and got some of that fat congealed down to, to flavor. A little fatty uh, both on the ri on my ribs and on my brisket. But uh, your brisket was okay. It was okay. Once you trim the fat off of it, you know, I, I'm not going to eat a mouthful of fat on brisket. I, I got to trim it off. I got you. You haven't heard, uh, mentioned the ribs yet because I got mainly ribs and bread. Uh, the ribs tasted like they were baked in an oven or boiled and then put on the grill real yeah. quick. They didn't have that smoky flavor. Tender is all get out and a lot of fat, but. Uh, it's like something I would have made, and when I go out to eat barbecue, I'd like somebody else to make them yeah. better than me. Yeah, I, you know, I, they don't have to be falling off the bone for me. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I kind of like to chew a little bit off the bone. I, I you know, I, I, my wife leaves half the meat on a, on a rib, just, yeah, that's it, just alienates me. I like to go through and meticulously gnaw on that bone until there, there's nothing left, you know. I am a carnivore, and I revel in it, but this place, I really didn't feel like doing that. Too much fat for me. 
Okay, but the flavor of the ribs, you, you were okay with that. It tasted like... Yeah, it, it was okay. It's, it's not my favorite. There are better ribs to be had, and I, too, like it a little crusty. Okay, no. yeah, crusty would have been good. And, by the way, I said it tasted like it wasn't smoked, like it was cooked in an oven. I'm not saying it was. That's just how yeah. uh, I perceived it to be. So right. hold your cause, uh, calls. If I was, in fact, a lineman for the county, I would go buy this place and get a sandwich, the uh, chopped beef sandwich or yeah. a brisket sandwich. I think that's a good way to go. I also think I, I think this place the food isn't bad. Don't don't get me wrong. It, it's not bad. They don't have free beans. They don't have free beans. But I think if you've got some out of town guests coming into town, uh, com coming into Conroe, you want to take them someplace unique, festive, kind of countryish. Got a good breeze coming through. Good breeze coming through. Yeah, I wouldn't go on the hottest day of summer. But if you got some people coming in from out of town, hey, this is a place where you can take them, and they'll want to, they'll, you know, they'll be taking pictures throughout lunch because they they've got the this festive chuck wagon out there. They got plenty of room for the kids to run around. The bathroom is called the outhouse. Very nice inside. <laughs> very nice. It's better. Yeah. I would bring wet towels though. Those napkins are going to blow like everything. It just uh, it, it it is. Oh, a and the drinks. The order a coke and you go to the nice chest and it's right there. Yeah. That was pretty warm. But. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Or whatever. Anyway, you know, pet boy. Not pet hey boys. Hey boys. Hey boys. Hey boys. Hey boy. Hey boy, hey boy. Hey boy barbecue. Uh, Twenty eight fifty four in between Conroe and Montgomery. Not a bad place. Great place to entertain people from from out of town. Not the best barbecue, but not the worst either. Uh, good place. You ought to check it out. Uh, pretty good. And if I was a lineman for the county, I'd go get the sandwich. And there you go. Yeah. I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for the Conroe Courier. Uh, Marketer columnist for the Courier and the Villager. There you go. Bon appetit. Two barbecue places in one, uh, uh, right after the other uh, critiques. And I don't know what I'm saying here, so why don't we just leave them with that? You're an idiot. Yeah, exactly. That's what you told me on the phone. Later! <laughs>